So this field we're sitting on was the legacy that was left to me by my father when I was 20 years old. And he left me a 12 acre field as he did with all his other children. And I said, dad, what am I gonna do with the field? So when my daughters came of age, we sat here and took a look at this field. We were thinking, how can we capitalize on the location? My name's Carrie Davison. And I'm Lynn Davison. And we're the money. I actually uh, met Carrie when I first took on the role as executive chef at the hotel and when I saw the pride and, and passion that he had in talking about his family, it was something that had resonated with me for such a long time so I knew I wanted to be involved in, in what that story was and what that was about because it really reminded me of what the hotel represented and, and really what our values are as well. Originally I started out with over 500 acres and that was back in 1902. We wanted to do something that would give us a reason to stay and make it worthwhile and take what we had left. Something that's hopefully going to be around for another hundred years. I'm Emma Davison. And I'm Jenna Davison. And, and we, we are, are Golden, Golden Ears, Ears Cheese Crafters. Jenna said, yeah, I want to make cheese. I says, well, you learn how to make cheese. I'll start building the building. Emma was actually going into licensed practical nursing. She was enrolled. And uh, so she just switched. And both of them were just fully on board with opening a cheese shop. There's over 800 different varieties of cheese. The options of doing cheese is endless. Since we've been in business, we've started seeing cheese skyrocketing. Cheese is all over the place. People are loving cheese more than chocolate. Yeah, that's true. We've developed about 11 different types of cheese and 42 different types of flavors. The Jersey Blue is probably my favorite cheese. Been using it now in my menus for three or four months. We serve it with our honey from the rooftop garden, simple, you know, grapes, just some crackers. It's absolutely beautiful. We do a number of seasonal salads that we use as well. One of the signatures is a frisee with endive. We take honey-coated walnuts, finish it with a little bit of Jersey Blue. It's something that's been on the menu now for quite a while. Our guests absolutely love it. I had the opportunity to go over and pick a Jersey cow and, and take her out of her stall and bring her over and uh, play with her a little bit, feed her some milk. Really, really cute. So what's wonderful and, and beautiful about a Jersey cow is that it has, the milk has a higher fat content, which in the end produces a higher quality cheese. And I'm very grateful for the partnership that we've established with Golden Ears Cheese Crafters. The feeling in the room today, making the cheese, the camaraderie amongst the team, you know, everyone feels like a part of the family and everyone is, is committed to the same goals and, and it's amazing what they've accomplished in such a very short period of time and it is the reason why they are where they are today and, and that's the kind of partnerships and the relationships that I like to build.